Before we begin with this video, here's a quick and an easy question for you all. Can you all name the character that Noah is going to play in the movie Black Adam? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below or stick to the end of the video which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. Hey guys and welcome to Filmonger Entertainment, your number one source for all things films and movies. And in today's video, we're going to look at Black Adam's cast members, Dwayne Johnson and Noah, talking about the movie Black Adam. I wanted Black Adam to hopefully usher in a new era of the DC universe. Yeah. And, and I mean that very respectfully, but if we're going to do this, like, let's really go for it. Let's yes. be disruptive. Let's mm -hmm. get the best filmmakers. Let's get passionate actors yes. behind the project. And for me, um, yeah, years ago, I fell in love with Black Adam, yes. and I think if for for his backstory and his real story, his mythology is he, if he's enslaved and his mm -hmm. people are enslaved. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has shared two new looks of his Black Adam and the Justice Society of America on the cover of Total Film magazine. The first image features Johnson in the titular avatar alongside Aldous as Hawkman, Noah as Adam Smasher, Quintessa as Cyclone, and Pierce as Dr. Fate. The image also features Johnson's sentiment about the character. This is a once-in-a-career character, a departure from anything that I have played before. The next image features a yellow washed vector version of the anti-hero on the cover with the entire focus on his green glowing eyes. It's incredible to see that and witness that and then to be there and experience him and what he does in person, his intelligence, his compassion, his dedication to narrative, his dedication to the people around him and his family and his friends and, 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 and the industries that he's been able to conquer the way that he has. I mean, you, you understand that you get it. It makes a lot of sense when you're with him in person and you get to spend more than a few minutes with him, which we all were very, very fortunate too. And you can't help but but try to take in and soak in as much as you possibly can. Black Adam is indeed a character the likes of which we haven't seen in the superhero genre as well as in Dwayne Johnson's body of work. In DC Comics, this super-powered anti-hero was initially introduced as the nemesis of Shazam, but later this character was redefined and told as an anti-hero who was trying to clear his name and reputation. That was fucking incredible. <laughs> and I, that, I will never forget that experience for the rest of my life. And I've been lucky throughout the course of my career to have moments like that where I've been able to perform in front of a lot of people in the wrestling ring, outside of the wrestling ring. But that was special. You have fans who've been camping out, sleeping outside since last night, since yesterday. Uh, and they come to Hall H. It's not free, so they got to buy their ticket. And it's... 10 o'clock in the morning. The trailer revealed at the recently held San Diego Comic Con further shows fans that the Justice Society of America is there to keep Adam in check and cements his choices as Dr. Fate tells Adam about his two parts. He can either be the destroyer of the world or be its savior. Come what may, one thing is for sure. In Johnson's own words, the DC Universe will never be the same again. You know, Dwayne coming out the way that he did. I mean, well, it wasn't Dwayne, of course. Yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't Dwayne. It was in costume. It wasn't, costume. it wasn't Dwayne. <laughs> um, just being able to share the stage yeah. with him, with Aldis, with Q, with Jama. I, 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 listening to them talk about the reason why they wanted to do this, and uh, it's overwhelming. It's just, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful reminder as to why we're doing this, right? It's for the fans. Before we jump into the next video, here's a quick shout out to our Instagram page, Filmonger Official. If you're someone who loves Marvel and DC updates or any kind of Marvel and DC memes, then this is your one. Dwayne Johnson's words ring more ominous now that new Warner Bros. CEO David has taken over the studio and has cut down many projects, several projects, including the Leslie Grace's straight to HBO Max movie, Bad Girl Movie. The DC Universe will never be the same again. Along with Shazam, Fury of the Gods and next year's The Flash, Johnson's passion project has been among the survivors of the massive restructuring at Warner Bros. In these times of unprecedented change at the studio, it will be interesting to see how Black Adam features and fares upon release. 
I understood that the foundation to this film was, of course, the comic books and the, and the universe that has been created and been written. But to actually be here and to feel it, to hear it, to be in the middle of it, to show a sneak preview and to hear the screams and, and for you to, I'm screaming, they're screaming, everywhere all screaming, you know, it's just like everybody's losing their goddamn minds. Uh, it's, it's absurd. It's surreal. During the panel, the cast unveiled an extended look at the movie and Dwayne Johnson gifted all 6,000 fans free tickets to Black Adam to go and watch the movie at IMAX theaters when it releases in October. My man, how much pressure is it to get this thing exactly right? We know you've been working on this passion project for ages and ages and ages and the fans just ate it up today. They did eat it up today. Today was a dream come true. Hall H, 6,000 fans like that, man, showing up as Black Adam. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of pressure to get it right. Um, but also I just, I knew, we all knew very early on the opportunity that we had. We have an opportunity here to create a character. We just made history at hashtag SDCC with a massive ticket giveaway. Everyone inside Hall H will receive a free ticket, Fandango ticket to see hashtag Black Adam opening weekend Fandango tweeted. I will say this, <laughs> I, will, I will say that, um, I will say that Henry's a buddy and he is a phenomenal Superman. He is a phenomenal Superman and Henry Cavill is the Superman of our generation. Superman did not show up at San Diego Comic Con, however, the actual real life Superman, Black Adam, aka Dwayne Johnson, did the trick. He came out in his full Black Adam costume with the lightning and the colors and the smoke, and people were really happy and excited to see him like that. Come on! Woo! Hello, sir. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> All right, you guys. Our next guest coming to the stage as Maxine Hunkel, a.k.a. Cyclone! With Tessa! With now! What's good? Noah revealed that Adam Smasher comes from a pedigree of heroism and a little bit of villainy. There's a complicated past, but he wants to prove himself as a hero. And with Cyclone, those two are young people trying to figure out who we are as people, Swindle said. And we are thrown in this mix with our powers and how we exert our energy. In this movie, so in the comic books, he's a fully formed superhero, right? He's an adult. Um, in this movie, though, he's kind of a young man. He's a young metahuman that gets to, for the first time, take that first step into what it means to be a superhero. Um, he comes from a pedigree of, of superheroes, and, and his grandfather was actually a, a super villain, but not by choice. He was kind of forced into it. You grow up pretending to be superheroes, yeah. pretending to have superpowers your whole life, right? Yeah. Or I did at the very least. And when we put that suit on and they put on the hood for the first time, and I looked in the mirror, it was... <laughs> Like, like, unbelievable. Like a, it was like an explosion of joy. It was it was so crazy. You're yeah. sitting there and you're like, because you know there are, there are greats that 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 that, that pave this way currently to do something of this size and this caliber. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. And the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is Adam Smasher. If you got this answer right, then you are a true Noah fan. All right, guys, we'll see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then, keep watching for longer entertainment. Bye, guys.